guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making one of my favorite, favorite recipes ever, a keto version of honey walnut shrimp. So I don't know about you guys, but every time I go to like a Chinese restaurant, it's definitely something that I cheat with. So creating a keto version is gonna be amazing. Okay, so let's go over our ingredients that we'll need for this recipe. You'll need a pound of shrimp, so these are peeled and deveined. You'll need your egg, so this is gonna be an egg white. You'll need an egg white, you'll need your arrowroot starch, mayo, some powdered sweetener, candied walnuts, and I'll link these below as well so that you can get a super simple recipe for that. And we'll also need our oil for frying, so you can use avocado or olive oil, and then just a pinch of salt. That's what we'll need, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna separate our little egg white. Okay, so. Now, I you basically have to whip it up to frothy. So you see how it's kinda like frothy and bubbly? That's what you want. And then, you're gonna add your arrowroot starch, so we're just gonna add it straight into the egg white. Don't play games. I swear, my ingredients sometimes just try to play games with me. Okay. And now we're gonna mix this too. I know it sounds sounds weird, but if you want to make honey shrimp, this is what you're gonna do. But look how easy. It's just egg white, some arrowroot starch, and then you're just gonna add it into your shrimp. Like, serious? I haven't been making honey shrimp my whole life because I thought it was just the hardest thing ever. So this is what you want it to look like. Okay. Forget that I need you guys to see. Let's get all of it. I need my little spatula, but I'm too lazy to go grab it. Okay. And now let's just mix it all. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot to add our little sprinkle of salt. Okay. I mean, if you like a ton of salt, then just add more, but I'm good with just a pinch. Okay, so let's get started on our sauce. We have two tablespoons of mayo. We're gonna do a tablespoon of sweetener. And of course, this is to taste, so if you feel like it needs a little more sweetener, then just add a little more sweetener. And then let's do lemon juice. Okay, and we're gonna mix that together. And believe it or not, this is your sauce. Okay, so this is what our sauce should look like. Just like that. So now let's cook our shrimps. Okay, be careful, always be careful when you're frying. Okay, we'll let those fry first. Okay, so these have been cooking for one minute. So these are small, so we're not gonna be two, two minutes. We're gonna do one minute and then flip them over. I think my tongs had a little bit of water, but we're getting a little crazy. Okay, so I cooked these about a minute on each side, and now we're gonna put it on our little cooling rack over here. I will show you right now. Let's just take these little babies out. You don't wanna overcook your shrimp because then it gets kind of rubbery, so you don't want that either. Okay, and just placing them on a little cooling rack. Make sure you have a napkin under, like I do. So just go ahead and finish frying up all your shrimp. Okay, I will show you once I'm all done here, and then we will start, um, I'll show you what the next step is after all of these little guys are cooked, okay? Okay, so now we have our cooked shrimp, we have our sauce, and we are going to marry them. These little babies. They're getting hitched today. Beautiful. I'm seriously not even joking. I'm so excited. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and add our sauce right on top of the shrimp. And now we're going to toss it together. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm not even joking. This is like my favorite dish to order. I just, I always try to stay away from it because, you know, it's so far from being low carb and keto friendly. But that to me, my friends, looks like the real deal. So where are 
we have our candied walnuts and then you can just top it with like sesame seeds or something but let me show you okay so now we're going to you guys already know I'm not a profesh here so I don't know how to really plate things but I just heard that you put it in the middle so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> okay so we're gonna put our little shrimps now let's get our little walnuts okay our candied walnuts here I like, I don't know about you, but I always, whenever my um, meal has, you know, like nuts in it, I like it with every bite. So we're just gonna kind of place it in here. And then we're just gonna top it off with, top it off with some little sesame seeds that I have. So, I don't know, that looks about right to me. I'll probably eat the whole bowl though, I'm not gonna lie. But we won't talk about that right now. Okay, and then, Let's just get some little sesame seeds. And that just makes it like absolutely official. This is the real deal now. Ta-da! <laughs> okay guys, so I brought this little savage along so that she can do the taste test with us. You said hi to everyone? Hi everyone. Okay, and now for our favorite part. Are you getting like a good bite or just a whatever bite? I don't like the nuts. I don't like. You don't like walnuts? No. She's not normal. If you don't like walnuts, you can use candied pecans, almonds. Um, but I think that the crunch from the from the nuts really, you know, makes it happen. Mm. How is that? What do you think? It's like the real deal. Like a real deal? Mm hmm This is our favorite. We always order this when we go to the, um, what is it called? Capital Seafood? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. Oh, I need another bite. All that's missing is that sweet and sour sauce. Sweet and sour sauce? Uh-huh. Oh, it's missing. Mmm. But, great flavor. This is so good. It really tastes like the real deal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you have to make it? Have to try it. It's so good. You can serve this with a little cauli rice. Or you can just serve it with regular rice, but you're serious. Regular rice? <laughs> I mean you if you better be to, making this with cauli rice, okay? They don't have to, they don't want to tomorrow. Okay? Well if they want to keep it low carb. If you guys want to keep your meal low carb, serve it with cauli rice. If not, of course you can always make it with Broccoli. regular regular rice. And a side of veggies. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's really one of our favorites and I know that you will love it too. So tag me on your, um, on your recreation so that I can share it on my stories. And until next time, mwah, we love you.